Hello there my fellow YouTubers, this is Step by Step Tutorials, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can add colliders to your masking place trees in Unity 5. Stay tuned. Okay. Now, before we get into the actual tutorial part, I want to make sure that you know what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is go over to here. I've already had one in. And here's my first first controller. And I'm just going to place a tree there. So let's go ahead and place a few trees there. Place the tree. Okay. Now, let's bring this window over. And let me go ahead and start it up. Okay. Now you notice I can't walk through the tree. Yeah. I'm going to show you how you can do that. It's super easy. Okay. Now. Let's see. Let's undo this. Edit. Undo section chain. Place trees. There we go. That way our trees are not placed. Okay. To do this is actually very easy. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need some trees. Which for me, I just went to the asset store and I got the trees. And then I went and had the scroller all the way down. Which if you don't see the scroller, just hit filters. We'll go free. Scroll it all the way down. You know, and you got all kind of trees. You just pick whichever tree you like, you know. Um... I forget which one I went with. Let's see. Let's type a tree. But you can do this with rocks as well. Yeah, Realistic Trees by Rakasha Games. Um, I'll probably, if I can find it on the website, and then I'll put a link in the description where you can just click on it and send it over to you there. So anyway, those are the trees I'm using. And what I did is I went over here and I placed them down, which I'm going to do again. So let's go find our trees. Um, where is it at? Yep, tree 10. And you got your trees right here. We're going to add right here, this tree right here. And it's just a regular tree right now, and it's no colliding all whatsoever. You could just walk through it. What we're going to want to do is make sure we can't walk through it, so we're going to right click on it over here in, a, in our hierarchy. And we're going to go to 3D object and create a cylinder. And we're going to move that cylinder up, which it doesn't have to be a cylinder. I use square, um, squares on those, but you can use a cylinder square. I thought about it and I figured a cylinder might work a little better or might be a little better. So we're gonna, I'm gonna make that a bit thicker. And then we're gonna, gonna just stretch it to the bottom like that. And it doesn't have to go all the way up because you got to figure your player can only jump so high. There we go. That ought to work. And then over here in our inspector, we're going to turn off mesh render. That way you don't see the um see the 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 shape the cylinder, but you do see I mean but you will run into the collider. So make sure that this trigger is off. And, you know, in case it was on, it shouldn't be on, but if it is, just look. That might be one of the issues you run into as to why you might be going through it still. But now that we got that, what we're going to need to do is um, make a prefab. And it's actually really easy. What we're going to do is we're going to go to my tree folder. Trees. And we're going to click on this tree right here. And it got our, our cylinder inside of it. And we're going to drag it to this folder. Boom. There is our prefab. Just like I got down right there. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and because I have to do this anyways for the project I'm working on. And I'm going to go ahead and drag all these in there. 
which is super easy and it's super quick. That's why I'm going to go ahead and do it now. As you can tell, I use squares on those, and that's the one I use the cylinder on. Okay. Now what we're going to do is click on our terrain. Click on the trees. Edit trees. Add tree. And actually, let's drag that right there. Click add. Add. We're going to go ahead and add the one that we just made. Darn it, not edit. I'm gonna click add. Okay, I got one, two, three. I wish it gave you the option to actually add more than one at a time because that would save me a lot. Because, like I said, you can do this with rocks too. And I, I have downloaded a rock pack, so darn it. But to do this with a bunch of them, it'd just be simpler, easier to do it. Okay, now that we have that, all our trees added, we're going to hit mass place trees. And number of trees, we're going to limit that down one zero, so it's just a thousand. And you keep existing trees, so, which there's no trees on there, so it really doesn't matter. And there's our thousand trees, which to be honest, that's not a whole lot, so let me undo that. Make it 5,000. There we go, that's a little bit better. But I guess, um, I'm just not feeling it. I think it's too much. 3,000. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, now let's go to our first person control, and we will move that out, click right there, bring it over here, okay, and let's hit play. Not one of these trees we should be able to go through. Okay. Let's try this one real quick. And there we go. And that is how you would mass place trees with colliders, or not just trees, anything. And it's also kind of a tutorial on how to make a prefab too, if you didn't already know. Which, to be honest, I'm not going to lie, I did not know how to do that till earlier today. But I figured it out, and it was super easy. I'm like, whoa, boom, blew my mind. But, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It always helps out. It lets other people know that this is a good video. If um, you didn't like this video, you can always hit the dislike button. I prefer you didn't, but if you did, um, just let me know what your reason was. That's why you did it. So, hopefully in the future, I can do better. Um, if you really like this video, like a whole lot, and you're like, ooh, I'd like to see more. Because I do Unity videos pretty regularly. You can always hit that subscription button, but if you don't want to just watch Unity videos, I do all kinds of tutorials, and I'm always open for suggestions. And with that said, I shall see y'all next time in the next video. <laughs>